The ability to vaccinate against disease is heralded as one of the greatest medical advances of modern civilization. Hand washing before surgery and clean water supply, um, it really ranks right up there. Dr. Robert Jacobson is medical director of Mayo Clinic's Community Health Immunization Program. He says we may be surprised to learn getting vaccinated is largely voluntary. There are for civilians no federal or national requirements for vaccination. When you hear about mandates or requirements, you're actually referring to school, daycare, and college rules. In the U.S., a group of scientists and physicians called the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices recommends which vaccines will do us the most good from infancy through old age. Now, what's on that list? We have measles, mumps, and rubella, of course, diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis, flu vaccine, pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, the meningococcal vaccines. We have hepatitis A, hepatitis B. Dr. Jacobson says while studies have proven there is no link between autism and vaccines, some parents still have concerns. And that question mark that has been raised has been harmful enough to cause some families to choose not to get vaccinated and have left their children and frankly, members of the community at risk for measles. Lax attitudes about vaccination allowed a measles epidemic to explode in Europe in 2011, with more than 37,000 cases reported. And finally, adults need to stay up to date as well. Only 40% get their recommended flu shot. Chicken pox and mumps can have devastating consequences and... Every adult should have by now received a, a dose of diphtheria, tetanus, acellular pertussis. Yet, Dr. Jacobson says only 6% of adults have received the DPT shot. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Doda.